Creating your own t-shirts couldn't be easier with the Kodiak Supplies transfer paper. Begin by selecting a design to transfer. Take a sheet of Kodiak transfer paper and place it by itself into the tray of an inkjet printer so that the design will print on the blank white side of the sheet and not the marked backing paper. Without using mirror mode, print out your design and allow it to dry for at least 5 minutes. While you're waiting, lay out a cloth on a hard surface and on top of it iron out your t-shirt to ensure there are no wrinkles. Do not use steam. Once it's dry, trim your design to just what you want to have on your t-shirt. Peel off the backing and place it facing up on your shirt. Take a sheet of Kodiak isolation paper and place it on top of the design. And with the iron fully heated, slowly and carefully, iron the image in a circular pattern for between 30 seconds and 3 minutes, depending on the size. Once complete, remove the isolation paper and your new custom t-shirt is ready. New fun light transfer paper is easy to use and I'm going to show you how. To start, preheat your press to 375 degrees or your iron to the cotton or linen setting. Choose your desired image and print your design to be transferred, remembering to mirror or flip your image before printing. Load your transfer sheets into the printer so the image is printed on the unlined, non-glossy side. Now that your design is printed, use a scissors to trim the image on the transfer sheet to remove any excess and unwanted area. I suggest rounding those sharp edges for better transfer performance and adhesion. Before transferring, you want to pre-iron your fabric to remove moisture and wrinkles. Now place the printed image face down on your garment. The red line side will be your ironing surface. Iron with steady and firm pressure. This will help to push the transfer layer deeper into the garment and will be better for wash durability. Glide the iron in a circular motion over the entire transfer for that suggested time duration, and be sure to cover the transfer completely. After ironing each section of the transfer, glide the iron once more over the transfer to heat evenly. Don't wait for it to cool. Best results occur when you peel immediately after ironing. Wait just three seconds and remove the backing paper from the transfer using a smooth, even motion. If any image lifting is observed while peeling, stop immediately and glide the iron back over the transfer to heat evenly while focusing on the areas where the image is lifting. And there you have it, your own customized new fun light transfer t-shirt. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Photo Paper Direct Dark uh, Transfer Paper for T-shirts and its use with the uh, Cricut machine or any other similar cutter. So this creates an opportunity for you to create images that previously were very difficult to use with the dark transfer paper and now uh, will become much, much easier. So we'll begin. We have a Cricut machine, but any other similar cutter will do. And to create the images, we have to go to the Cricut platform uh, to set up the print. So now we've sent the image to print. Here is our dark transfer paper for ink. Uh, all our products come in cellophane bags like this, uh, minimal packaging. Everything you need is inside the uh, pack, including the silicone paper. We put it into the machine. Normally, and print. So now we've printed the Photo Paper Direct Inkjet Dark Transfer Paper. We go to the Cricut machine, to the Cricut stage. Position the image onto the mat, the top right hand corner. Open the machine. Okay. 
and load the mat. Okay, now the Cricut has finished its work. You can see that you're able to peel away the individual images. This saves a lot of time and also lets you print really intricate... I'm going to actually remove the outside, it's easier. Doesn't matter about the steering. Okay, so it allows you to make really intricate images like this elephant with the dark transfer paper. It would be near impossible to cut this out with scissors and you can also do lettering. So now that we've cut our inkjet dark transfer paper on the Cricut machine. We're going to transfer the images onto a shirt. We're going to use a normal tabletop lined with a couple of t-shirts just to protect the surface and give it a bit of cushioning. Then position the shirt that we're going to print, the dark one. Then we take the transfer paper, remember dark transfer paper is printed face up, so we've got to peel the image carefully from the backing sheet. So you end up with this, it's not sticky, so you, you can reposition it. Place it in the correct area. And we're also going to do this little elephant as well, on the same shirt. The pack of paper that you received comes with silicone paper, so you cover it, you cover the image with the silicone paper like this. And using a domestic iron, heat it for five minutes, no steam at maximum temperature. We're going to go systematically, quickly first to adhere them, and then systematically in circular motions making sure that the whole transfer is covered, especially the ends and the edges. I'm applying a lot of pressure, as much pressure as I can get onto this iron without damaging myself or the iron. The pressure is really important. This is a very strong iron. And these are quite small images, so we only need about 30 or 40 seconds. Circular motions are really important. Make sure that they get even heat everywhere and pressure. So here you have it. We've taken the photo paper direct dark transfer paper, printed it on a normal inkjet printer, and using the Cricut machine or a similar cutter, cut out the images and printed the T-shirt. These sort of images would be really difficult, if not impossible, um, to do without a cutter because you can't get in and out of the intricate image. And this ma process makes it really easy, really easy and opens up a whole load of new possibilities for use with the Photo Paper Direct inkjet transfer paper.